Hi, I'm Bernadine and I'd like you to come on a journey with me around St Kilda Town Hall to showcase our Towards Zero emission efforts. Hi everyone, my name is Brett McDonald. I'm the uh, Senior Greenhouse Projects Officer and one of the projects I've been working on is the St Kilda Town Hall uh, Solar and Safe Roof Access Project. So the St Kilda Town Hall Solar Project is one of the largest uh, solar arrays installed by a local government in Australia. So the St Kilda Town Hall Solar Project is 172 kilowatts. It will generate enough electricity to effectively power St Kilda Library for a year. So that's 230,000 kilowatt hours of electricity, which is roughly 25% of St Kilda Town Hall's total electricity use in any one year. So we're here on the North Annex, um, which is completely full of solar panels. We've also got solar panels at the auditorium at the back here and also behind the plant room and on top of the plant room. 172 kilowatts of solar panels is roughly the equivalent of 45 standard households in Victoria. So these solar panels can power 45 households. We've also, as part of the project, installed roof access to successfully maintain and clean the solar panels. The roof access component is made up of gantry walkways and also static lines. We're up on the roof of St Kilda Town Hall. You may not have been up here before. This is where the air conditioning happens. We've got uh, chillers and boilers, air handling equipment that uh, keeps the building warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a project that we just finished which improved the air conditioning efficiency by about 30 percent. So we've, we've reduced the amount that we're spending on electricity and gas as a result of this project. Here we are in the rooftop plant room and uh, along the wall here you can see the six inverters which um, take the DC produced by the solar panels and convert it into AC for injection into the main building circuit. Uh, through the building we've got air handling units like this with uh, chill water and heating hot water fed to it. In order to get it uh, more efficient what we've done is sequenced it so that the heating is not fighting the cooling at the same time and the, uh, the boilers uh, wind down over summer and the chillers wind down over winter. Uh, so here we are under the floor of the uh, old part of the uh, town hall. As part of our project we uh, added insulation under the floor and also into the ceiling space. This building was built in 1890 and for 100 years we've been heating and cooling the building um, and losing most of it out through the uh, envelope. So here we are in the atrium or the wind tunnel as we like to call it and uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, connection between the atrium and the conditioned spaces up on level one and two. The problem here is that when the doors are left open uh, it impacts on the air conditioning in the rest of the building. So we're making a concerted effort to get people to close doors behind them. So that's what we're doing and there's plenty that you can do too.